Hi, I'm Brenda Nicholas from Brenda's Art and Nature, and I believe in no child left inside. I'm an artist, a naturalist, and a wildlife educator. I combine my passions to help you and your families connect and explore nature through hands-on art activities. When we are connected and more mindful, we can live a more fulfilled day, and our life becomes more magical. I've always been able to see the magic in life. I was taught at a very young age to go outside and play. My sisters and I would play for hours with just what nature provided. You need pretend food? Coming right up. Bees for bread? And those little pine cones the squirrels ate? Well, that's a chicken leg, of course. When I got married and had children, I guided my children and their friends to go outside and explore. Had that heart-to-heart -heart connection to all the animals and plants around them. Leading a scavenger hunt in our neighborhood, came back with rocks, leaves to trace and color. That was part of our day. As I was working in a wildlife sanctuary, I was painful for me to see so many children on their technical devices always plug in. They say children know over 50 corporate logos and cannot name 10 trees in their backyards. A friend introduced me to Richard Lou's book, Last Child in the Woods, Saving Our Children from Nature Deficit Disorder. It created an increased interest in children's environment awareness and I started Art in Nature. Did you know that many urban children are spending close to 95% of their in their lives indoors? It's painful to hear that obesity, screen addiction, anxiety, and depression are on the rise. So today I'd like to share with you that increasing research shows that children that are nature rich environment for their healthy development. Spending time in nature improves cognitive functioning, acquiring knowledge by the use of reasoning, intuition, and perception. Boosts their confidence, raises fitness levels, and gives young people a more positive sense of their own well-being. That's nice, right? So today, building a connection with nature in childhood inspires a lifelong relationship to their natural world. If you have never dug for clam on the beach or observed the salmon returning to spawn, would you care or even notice the clams disappear and the salmon no longer return? As parents and as a society, we need to be advocating for more connection with the natural world for all children, for all of us. We need to make changes and protect what is left of the natural world and the amazing species still here. On the next page, I'm going to give you three fun and easy art activities that I teach in my art and nature classes to get you and your kids outside and connecting to nature. Click on the button below and enter your information. And I'll see you on the trail. I mean, on the next page.